Hey there, it's Brittany. I am back with an unboxing video of some friend mail from my friend Pam um, of Mossy Cup um, Oak Designs. I think that's right. <laughs> uh, on um, uh, Instagram and on um, YouTube, she makes beautiful polymer clay jewelry and she was tagging me because she's following the 100 day bracelet challenge and I was like, <gasps> I'm obsessed with your bracelets and your um, uh, polymer clay stuff so we are we did some friend mail and um hers hasn't gone out in the mail yet it's going out this weekend but i just got mine and i because I, I time and space have not been registering with me lately so i didn't even realize that she had sent this out so i'm super excited can't wait to see what she sent um and i wanted to share with you so um she sent me a cute little card um oh it's really cute Aww. Thanks, Pam. That's such a sweet little note. Um, I am so excited um, because, oh my gosh, I'm seeing some beautiful things. We decided to do um, a trade of some um, polymer clay stuff. So I'll, first of all, the first thing that's popping out is this bracelet. Oh my gosh, she sent me a bracelet. I don't have any polymer clay cuff bracelets and I haven't watched the video on this one yet. I am so behind in watching videos with everything that I've been doing that I'm just like, I can't wait to see the video on this. This is so pretty, and it has a uh, it has a magnetic clasp on the back. I haven't made one of these yet, and I have all the forms and stuff. I just haven't done it, so I need to get on that. This is beautiful. Look at that. That is really beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yep, it fits. Very cute. It's kind of warm <laughs> because it's a hundred and I think seven degrees outside right now here. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'll have to to let that cool off before I can uh, wear it because I don't want it to um, uh, be too loose. Oh, it's just so pretty. Okay, I don't know what to look at first. There's some cute little charms in here. So let's see what this is. Oh, so she made me a pendant using some charms. Oh, this is cute. So she used polymer clay as the bale or connector here. That is awesome, Pam. I'm going to have to try that. I just, sometimes I just kind of get overwhelmed with all the different things that you can do with polymer clay that I end up not doing anything. <laughs> but this is beautiful. Thank you. I'll have to use that somehow. This is beautiful. I think I might have these leaves. Uh, and if so, I could use those in a project. I love these rings. I, lo I just love that. Look at the, the detail on the bale. So cool. So cool. Um, okay, so she sent some oh, ginkgo charms. I don't have these. These are so nice. I love those. I love the the ginkgo. I have some ginkgo cutters for polymer clay, but I don't have any charms. So those will go really well with that. Um, oh my goodness, she made a little birdie. I think I've made one birdie and I haven't done anything with it. Um, but this is adorable and she wire wrapped it. Oh, that is so cute. And she used some paints to um, almost patina it. It looks like faux bronze. It's so cool. Oh, and a little drop. Pam, you are so talented. Oh, I, I don't know what to do with that. I, I, it's uh, obviously going to be a necklace, but I, I'm just trying to think like what I have what, that would go with that, what I can make that would go with that. So pretty. Okay, what's this? <laughs> it's like Christmas. I love it when people send me happy mail. And <laughs> being on the spending freeze right now, it's been real rough. <laughs> I've gotten a couple things in the last few days, but those are subscriptions and, and that one um, thing that came th three months later. But it's been rough when it, you're exciting, excited to use... Um, or to, you're used to opening up packages all the time. These are awesome. These are some charms she made out of polymer clay. <gasps> it's a little butterfly. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. I love that they're antique copper. That is so pretty. These are so pretty, Pam. Thank you so much for making these. Oh, they're double-sided. Oh, those are so cool. I don't know. Well, I could make earrings, but then I wouldn't get to keep them <laughs> because I, I don't really wear. Although these are probably light enough to for me to be able to wear. I just don't want to chance it. Um, 
Oh, it looks like we have a bracelet bar. <gasps> ah, these are so pretty. Oh, you know I love my blue. This reminds me of um, the skies here in Arizona. So pretty. I love this flower. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to make day 43 bracelet with something you've sent. I don't know if it'll be this one. I see another bra bracelet bar here too. Oh, look at these cute little charms. They're little leaves. Beautiful. Guys, you need to check out her channel. She does a lot with polymer clay. I haven't done too much with polymer clay um, tutorials on my channel. So if you're looking for something like that, definitely check out hers. I will be leaving Pam's um, uh, link below to her Instagram and to her uh, YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, okay, I need to move on, <laughs> but it's so pretty. Um, okay, so, ooh, what is this? Oh my, these are so cute. She knows I love sea themed. Oh, that's, oh, that's so cute. It's like a little um, starfish. Uh, these like look like little pebbles almost, or a wax seal. This one's a butterfly. I just love artisan beads. Ugh, I love them. Oh, another starfish. Oh, the little turtle. So cute. And a beautiful flower. These are so pretty. I love that you included the jump rings on them too. So cool. I love that. Um, and then we have a couple more things here. What's this? Oh, these are neat. These look like ceramic almost. Ooh, I love that. It's so bohemian. This is super cute. I just love this. This is so cute. Love that color. So cute. I love these. Pam, you are so talented. Oh, and a nice um, pendant. I'm gonna have to plan out like a really nice piece. Oh, look at that little tiny baby. Reminds me of Goldie, cause it's so tiny. Oh, that's so cute. I wanna put that on a bracelet too. This actually goes with um, the, the bracelet bar almost. So cute. I love that. Thank you, Pam. And then um, we also, uh, wanted to do some um, molds so I'm super excited that she sent me some molds of that I didn't have so we have a little um, starfish and she used polymer clay to make her molds um, cute little starfish love that Ooh, a flower I don't have this flower I haven't seen that flower before that's really cool I'm gonna be using that I love that I'm getting new um, molds because I haven't really used a lot of molds yet cute little turtle and then we have a little butterfly I'm definitely gonna use these thank you Pam those are perfect for like texturizing too awesome and then last but certainly not least we have oh, wow this is really cool this is a faux ceramic pendant so I'm guessing I could I could do so many different things with this. I could keep it like this and just put two holes here and make it a bracelet. Um, I could even separate these and use it as two pieces for earrings or a necklace or something. Pam, this is gorgeous. I can't believe how much work you put into this. Like that is beautiful. This looks like ceramic. I love everything you sent, but I think this is my favorite. It's so beautiful. I need to watch the video to see if you showed how you made this. Oh my goodness. I feel so lucky. I feel so lucky that I met Pam through um, Instagram and YouTube and she sent me her beautiful artwork. I cannot wait for you, Pam, to get what I send you. It's going out on Sunday and I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. So um, hopefully you'll end up doing an unboxing too <laughs> so I can see how you react to the things that I send. So anyway, thank you so much. I'm so excited I'm gonna use all of these. These are so beautiful. Guys, tell Pam in the comments how, how um, 
talented she is and please like and subscribe on her channel as well as mine um, if you guys have any questions please let me know please let Pam know you can probably find her on Instagram as well um, and join us for that bracelet challenge um, I guess let's let's make a bracelet guys we won't, we're only at 10 minutes here let's make a bracelet um, I'm trying to think I want to do so I want to use something that Pam sent um, let's see here oh I missed this guy oh my gosh this is beautiful I'm sorry Pam I almost missed this one <gasps> Goldie's looking at me like mom why are you being such a geek right now because I have beads Goldie because I have beads um, I will try and get a video and share it of her at the end of this this is a beautiful bracelet bar look at this it is so detailed Wow cannot wait um okay what are we making guys what are we making we're we gonna make something with this we're we gonna make something with this one of these i'm loving this guy right here i just th i think these two are my absolute favorite followed quickly by these two mm. i really want to do something with this adorable little baby thing because it reminds me of goldie I'm trying to think if i have any dog paw um charms and I don't so I'm gonna save this because I, I it reminds me so much of my dog just because of how tiny it is that I'm gonna save something for when I make uh, something with a paw print so okay that one's out <laughs> I love my creative process I know you guys <laughs> it probably drives you nuts but you know it is what it is um let's see okay I want to I want to make sure I plan something out for this because it's so gorgeous this is how my process of elimination I can make earrings with this. Hmm. Let's make some earrings. So we'll make some earrings out of these guys. And um, after that, I'll decide whether I'm going to make a bracelet out of one of these two. So I'll be right back. Let me grab some stuff to make earrings and I'll be right back. Okay, we'll see how this goes. All I had was some really thin copper wire and some really thick copper wire. I'm sure I have head pins somewhere, but I kind of want to do some wire wrapping. This isn't really going to work for wire wrapping. Um, this is Vintage uh, Copper Wire 16 gauge. I got this at Hobby Lobby for half off of $5. Um, I don't think I've ever used it. If I have, maybe like a few inches. But anyway, we will... Um, we're just going to make a loop. We're not going to do any wire wrapping because that would just be a little bit hard with such thick wire. And I did check to make sure the wire would go through my little tiny flowers here because I wanted to make flowers and with the leaves. Um, I did drill with my Dremel a little bit larger hole just to make sure that um, my wire would fit. Um, so we're just going to take our pliers and do um do a little bend and then i'm gonna grab it and bring it back around this is a really big gauge i would never usually do something this huge but <laughs> eh, necessity because I don't have anything else and we're on a spending freeze. So I'm trying to see, maybe I didn't make my, I might not have made my loop big enough. I also have, um, oh, maybe I did. I also have some uh, copper jump rings I could use too. But looks like I made it just big enough. That is so cute. That is so cute. Pam, this is adorable. Anyway, um, good job on these leaves. I just grabbed some magnesite or halite uh, turquoise beads. I'm gonna slip one on. Oops, our gauge, our 16 gauge wire. Slide it all the way down. I'm going to put a bead cap. Oh, you know what I want? I want a, I want some kind of rondelle, some halite rondelle or something. I'm gonna have to go find that. So here we go. I just put a copper bead cap on. I think that's from Bargain Bead Box. Goldie, what are you chewing on? Oh, I think she found like a piece of popcorn. She doesn't even like popcorn. <laughs> anyway, um, that's super cute. I want to go find a Hishi bead. 
uh, an aqua one before I pile this guy on. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I found, I dug for a couple seconds and found all these. So I have these little ones. Um, that's actually a pretty good color match. This seems to be a pretty good color too. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We've got all of these. So I'm going to just pick one. Um, let's see how bit the bigger one looks first and then we'll look at the others. Mm, no, that's too much. Too much. So I'm going to go with one of these smaller ones. Uh, won't fit on the won't fit on the wire so I'm doubting this other one the teeny tiny ones so I have one more one more choice Let's see how it goes oh it looks like that's not going to be big enough for the wire either well, that's annoying isn't it nice when things like come together instead of work against you and then your beads spill everywhere Okay, so I revisited the larger Hishi bead. I actually don't hate it as much as I did when I first put it on, now that I can't fit any other Hishi bead on here. So um, I really like how it breaks up all the copper because I wanted to put another uh, copper daisy flower spacer up here. And I did test run these to make sure that they fit. Just gotta get them all the way down. So cute. Gotta get it to the front. Okay, that's super cute. I wish I could get some sparkle on there, but I don't think I have um I don't think I have a copper spacer like that. Um I have some that has some copper like hints, but I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. We have this guy. Oh, he's missing some. That's trash. He's missing some uh, rhinestones. All right, so let's put this. Hmm. Well, I like I like the sparkle. I don't think I like the sparkle underneath the daisy. So let's try it this way. And now it's a little slanted, but I think that's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then I have some spacer beads to top it off. I actually don't think I need the spacer bead on top. So we're going to go ahead and do a loop at the top. Oh, that 16 gauge wire is thick. All right. Loop it back around. Try something new every day. I was gonna try and wire wrap this, but holy mama, that is very thick wire. Let me see if I can find my other pliers so I can twist them at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna try this. If it doesn't work, I'll just redo it. Take that around, grab it again, take it around. Okay, I'm just doing one loop because it's 16 gauge wire, it's not coming undone. And um, it's really, I don't want it to be like a super huge loop. So I'm gonna cut it as close as I can to the base. Okay. And oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm just gonna straighten it a little bit. 
and this top part I have to figure out I'm gonna actually it needs to face this way so our earring wire can loop into it so I'm just gonna twist a little bit A little bit more there we go oh my gosh this is so cute and I couldn't have done it without Pam's beautiful leaf like look how beautiful that is oh it makes me so happy because you know I love um, like rustic uh, Native American uh, Southwesty looking stuff and this is just amazing so okay I'm gonna go ahead and do the second um, earring and I'll okay be right back. are you unusual beautiful artisan pair of earrings is finished um, these leaves are just gorgeous oh, I'm sad that I used them but it, they're so pretty um, with these other pieces that I'm sure they'll go to a nice beautiful home <laughs> um, anyway thank you so much for watching I am still gonna make day 42 bracelet but I'm so excited about these earrings that I can't like figure out what I want to do yet I think I want to make something with this um, it's not going to match these earrings, but it's just so pretty and Pam did such a fantastic job. Please, 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 if nothing else, check out her YouTube channel. She's amazing. Um, Pam, thank you so much. You are such a fantastic artist and I can't wait to, um, see what you have in store and I can't wait for you to get what I'm going to send you. So I can't wait to see that video. Um, thank you so much everybody for watching. Please like, and subscribe, and I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Bye-bye.